This incident took place in Lake County, Illinois, USA, on Thursday, July 26, 2018. Lake County policewoman Anna Tedesco was on patrol when she found a stalled car parked on a quiet gravel road next to a golf course. He noticed that there might be someone in the car, so he prepared to go forward to investigate. But before approaching, Anna decided to call for support first. This decision may be the wisest choice he made that night. The man's name is Kenneth Marto. Not long ago, Matt was discovered for burglary and killed the 88-year-old homeowner. The homeowner was a retired lawyer. On the day of the murder, he was preparing for his 89th birthday celebration. What's even more outrageous is that after killing the homeowner, she transported the body to a nearby pond, and she used a gun to threaten her own mother and her mother's boyfriend to help deal with the body. At this time, Martel was wanted for a felony. What are you doing parked back here? Okay, where are you coming from? How long have you been here? Okay. Where are you headed? Oh, out west. Oh. I just got out the interstate. That's all. Okay. How did you find this place? What? My accident. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty weird. <laughs> Do you happen to have a driver's license on you that I could see? <laughs> you don't have a driver's license. No. Not on you? Do you have anything with your name on it? What about your vehicle registration? Anything with your name on it? Did I do something wrong? No, no. But you're parked on private property right now. It's suspicious that you're back here. This doesn't normally happen. You're sleeping, so I needed to check on you, make sure that you are all right. Yeah. Um, but I do need to identify who you are. Martel's speech was slurred and his movements were slow because he had a long history of drug abuse and he could not provide valid identification, and the condition of the vehicle also seemed abnormal. But Officer Anna was not aware of these potential dangers at the time. He did not pay special attention to the suspect's hand movements, nor did he ask if there were any weapons hidden in the car. It means that Martel has tried to find something in the car many times. But Officer Anna still did not remind him. Okay, I will tell you about the matter, and you can give me a card. I am Zhang Jen. At this time, Officer Anna provided the dispatch desk with the fake name mentioned by the man. But the dispatch desk could not verify it. To make matters worse, the police officer's partner seemed to have lost his way on the way. Seeing that he was wrong, he let the suspect go. At this time, the suspect was already highly nervous. And this was Officer Anna's last chance. But he did not order the other party to raise his hands or let him get out of the car. Suddenly. The suspect raised his pistol and pointed it at Officer Anna. Anything in the vehicle with your name on it? 4596. No! 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 If you stop, I'll leave. Then... I'll leave. Okay, let I'll go. Leave. No! Let go. No! Let go. Hey, no! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! At this moment, Anna's partner Matthew arrived at the scene. No, please don't shoot me! Please! 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 Matthew aimed the gun at the suspect's head and pulled the trigger. 21, 10, 4, shots fired. He had two guns. All right, cover me, okay? Okay, you have to cover that for... Information on that vehicle looks like it's connected to a homicide. It was not until now that the dispatch desk found out that the vehicle might be related to the murder. It's a pity that the news came a little late, but fortunately the female police officer was not injured. The identification card that the suspect handed to the female police officer was actually a piece of waste paper. She did this to attract the attention of the police and then draw her gun. The suspect Martel was shot in the head and died on the spot. It is reported that Kenneth Martel was 36 years old and from Pennsylvania. After he was wanted for first-degree murder, he lived in his car until he met Officer Anna. Later, the police found a large number of weapons in his car, including pistols, shotguns and crossbows. If you have any opinions on this case, please share them in the comment section below. We are looking forward to your participation.